One of my little college friends, who's really sweet and a skateboarder, was walking out of Target as I was walking in. We stopped and she greeted me. She saw me, of course, I'm not hard to see with my cart, and she said, hi, priest. And I had to size up her face and go, oh, hi, Katie, I know you. And we like each other, I think, because I have regard for her life, and she has regard for my life. And she's played me with a dollar or two, and that allows me to get a drink, and I appreciate her love. But what I'm talking about, of course, is plutonic, brotherly love, family love, not at all. Agape love, not really, but, you know, that's God's love. What I'm really talking about is we have regard for each other. She shared with me the sad news that she might be leaving her company where she works part-time. It doesn't really get a lot of hours, but she doesn't really want a lot of hours. What she has said is the same thing that another gal who works there has told me in confidence and in private, that it's stressful to work there. So what I suggested to her was what I observed as a sort of a Kaizen specialist, someone who knows how to streamline a process and how to make things less stressful for people, because I spent most of my time in manufacturing when I was much younger, almost her age, practically, a little older. And I spent a couple years in it, and I learned a lot from it, and I know a lot about how to quality assurance something, how to make things right how to do Go S and other things that are probably nothing you know anything about, but it's sort of like a Six Sigma sort of thing. My point is it came from the Japanese world, and what I do is when I see things, and I've always been like this, I'm a process guy. And I look at a process and go, yeah, that's not really working for people. And that's not really working for me because it makes me crazy. And so what I told her was how to fix a sandwich shop. What I said is, here's what you need to do. You need to take the greeter who starts the food process and have them take it all the way through the delivery of the food up to the cash register, where you have someone comfortably seated who just does a cash register. And then all they're doing is rotating all the way around with all their employees. Everybody gets to handle food, everybody except the cashier, cashier, of course, and everybody is in a good mood because they're really seeing the love of their kindness of serving food and doing something for someone getting all the way through to the end of someone being happy to see the sandwich go out the door. You see, that's how you handle it. It also puts less stress on the person in line because the person in line is going, great, I have to talk to three different people, four different people, or whatever the hell it is, and I don't want to do that. Because what happens in telephone is that something gets left off. So then you get a sandwich that has tomatoes on it that you don't want on it, and you have mushrooms not on it that you wanted on it, and it becomes sort of a crazy thing. You see, there are people who are pattern people like me who do like to have a sandwich a certain way from Jimmy John's, but I eat a different type of sandwich in a different way from a different place because of how the bread fits together, how the, the cheese is, and all the different marvelous aspects that, you know, if you can learn from a, a silly little Walt Disney video, and I can't remember the name of it, that had a mouse that we wanted to cook, but the point is that anyone can cook concept is sort of true. But how you love on people is that you keep good people. If you keep losing the best-looking girls, and, the, and I don't mean that inappropriately, I mean the best kids who really care for people and really want to serve them well, then you really got a stupid-ass company, don't you? So what I told her was a secret. I don't know. It was just an idea. And I said, take it in. Try it. Don't play it on a bozo. Just do it. And you change the process. And people might like it, and people might appreciate it, and maybe there'll be more tips. I don't know. But your life will be easier and the process of being at work will be less stressful.